I'm Louis, and I'm a circus artist, more specifically a flyer for Russian Cradle and Hand to Hand, and I work for the Seven Fingers. It meant moving away from my hometown when I was 14 or 15, leaving all my friends behind, leaving my family behind to train the circus. I've been working with Sam, who's my porter, since I'm 16, I believe. So it's also almost been six years now. I met Sam when I was auditioning to get from the high school program to the college program. And during that week of auditions at school, they tried Sam and I together and they really liked it. I don't see myself working with someone else than Sam for now. I'm a really stressed person and anxious in life. And Sam's always been there to help me calm down and come back to reality that not everything is that stressful, not everything is that scary. Circus is not something that you can do your whole entire life, right? Because it's hard on the body. But for me, I think I'll probably stop performing around mid-30s, hopefully, maybe a bit later, depending on how my body holds up, how my partner holds up as well. For sure, those disciplines take a lot of trust in between partners, but sometimes it just clicks, sometimes it needs more time to grow. But Sam and I really clicked at the beginning, and to train Cradle, usually also you start with safety lines. We don't take up the lines until the trick is absolutely ready. I don't think there's one moment in my life that I didn't trust Sam. I trust him completely with my life. invited and selected to perform at the 39th Festival Mondial du Cirque du Demain, which takes place in Paris. It's one of the biggest circus festivals in the world, and sadly one week before we were taking our plane to go perform there, I broke three vertebrae. We were rehearsing our act for the festival, and I slipped out of Sam's hands and landed on the hard ground. Not gonna lie, the first time I got back on the cradle, I almost cried. Like, just swinging, he put me down and I was shaking, I had to take like 5 to 10 minutes just to breathe after. So it was definitely hard coming back, but having someone that I trust that much and knowing that it wasn't only his mistake, it was also partly mine, it, it's teamwork, right? Yes, it was hard, but with Sam we really took our time and even now I'm like still slowly getting back into it we can say we're not at the technical level for the tricks that we were at when, before I got injured but now it's really coming back and now that it's been like a year and a half I feel my confidence is coming back a lot more. Communication is really important for us in the circus and even more in Passage I think. Communication is the key to everything on the stage. We'll actually be talking and yelling to each other on stage what's coming next this isn't my first touring show that I'm doing. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But it's not all the glamour we think it is. <laughs> There's a lot of work that comes behind it, dealing with injuries on the other side of the world, but it's so much fun meeting new people and doing what you love and getting to travel and see new places. The cast becomes a second family and I get to see the world with some of my best friends. We have this pre-show ritual called the choo-choo. We all start holding hands, and then we start making the sound of the train, so it's chugga, 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 chugga. And then we end with a big choo-choo, and the whistle noise of the train. This, for us, the choo-choo represents first us being united, but also the journey that we're going on. Being on stage is nice, being on stage with friends is even better.